I recently received an email from Nick and he struggles with waking up from a nap feeling better versus feeling worse and he asked if I would explain why that could be possibly happening. If you've been following me for any period of time you know I'm a big fan of the Garmin dashboard and I want you to go to your sleep from last night and I want you to see how quickly did you fall into deep sleep. It's denoted as dark blue on the Garmin dashboard. So if you put your finger, if let's say you're using your phone, if you put your finger on your sleep information, it creates a vertical white line. I want you to see how long it took from when you laid down to how quickly did you get into the first block of dark blue. Look at how quickly you got into the dark blue. Now stop and think about this. If you're able to get into that dark blue within you know, three to 10 minutes, then what you recognize is you're able to get into deep sleep relatively quickly and absolutely a nap is gonna be beneficial for you. Now, if you're somebody who struggles to get into deep sleep quickly, we need to look at things like, are you satisfying appetite before you go to bed? What is your overall stress level? Hopefully you don't have a big calorie gap between what you're burning on a daily basis and what you're taking in. But we're gonna, for the sake of this video, we're gonna assume that all of those boxes are checked off and you are able to fall asleep very, very quickly. The reason why the deep sleep is the most important is that's where your body releases growth hormone, human growth hormone, and testosterone. Those are the recovery hormones. So when we look at sleep at night, those are the, you've got to have, our goal is to try to get as close to two hours of deep sleep as possible. That's the imperative component of waking up fresher than when you went to bed. If you do that enough days in a row, you won't have negative side effects like exhaustion, irritability, suppressed appetite, Maybe you're plateauing or even regressing athletically. But for the sake of this conversation, would a nap be beneficial for you? Only if you validate that your body's able to fall asleep quickly. The other side of the equation is when you look at your sleep information, how long are you staying in that first block of deep sleep? Because this is one of the most frequent things that we hear. If someone is able to fall asleep quickly during a nap, when they wake up, they're really, really foggy. They don't feel good. And that's usually because, not every time, but usually it's because somebody sets an alarm and they wake up from their nap and their body got caught in the deepest mode of sleep in the Garmin platform, it's dark blue. If you get woken up in a mode of deep sleep, you're gonna be in that incredible foggy state of mind. Unfortunately, the perception is, see, I feel really foggy. I feel horrible when I take a nap. That's because you got woken up in the most important and the deepest uh, component associated with sleep. So let's come back to the original question. Are naps beneficial? It's very individualized. You have to look at your ability to fall asleep quickly. Then we have to look at, are you able to get enough time? Let's say that you look at your first deep sleep block and it's typically 20 to 30 minutes. Please try to give yourself at least that 20 to 30 minutes so that your body can naturally come out of that deep sleep during your nap. So when you wake up, you do feel refreshed. Just some things that we've seen over the last 38 years of doing this. And like I said, I'm always a big advocate for naps. I try to get all of my clients to nap both on Saturday and Sunday because you're getting nine days of those recovery hormones, HGH and testosterone every seven days. If you wanna get leaner, you wanna get stronger, you want a better aerobic engine, those two hormones, testosterone and HGH, those are your recovery and your performance hormones. Testosterone, even though most people associate it with being a sex hormone, plays a significant role in the production of red blood cells, which is what carries your oxygen. So free money in the form of a nap. If you happen to have a question similar to this, please feel free to send it in to us. Here on YouTube, we're answering a question every day. Please send it in to contact at coachrob.com. If you haven't subscribed, we'd appreciate you doing so. Turn on the notification so you know when the new videos come out. Like I said, we're putting one out every morning. So thank you for taking the time today to watch this video, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow.